guys and welcome back. I don't know about you, but on days like today when it is freezing, I love to curl up to a bowl of my spicy vegetarian chili. It may be missing the meat, but it is not missing the flavor. And I'll share with you my secret ingredients that will never have you put meat in your chili again. So let's get started. And for today's recipe, we're going to use five cans of low sodium black beans, one can of diced tomatoes, two red peppers, one green pepper, three small carrots, one sweet potato, one red onion, and for season, we're going to use paprika, garlic, cumin, cayenne pepper, salt, and pepper, and then green onions. For garnishment. So we have added in all of our cans of beans and transferred them here into our large pot and we have added water just to cover it and now we're going to add in my Brooks chili mix seasoning and it is mild because we're going to add in our own seasonings to give it that extra spice. This is vegetarian chili and we are eliminating all of the meat. We are going to use a lot of different vegetables to give it that ultimate flavor that we want. And now we're going to use about a third cup of our extra virgin olive oil. About two tablespoons of our sea salt. A tablespoon of black pepper. about two tablespoons of paprika I like about two tablespoons of garlic powder one tablespoon of cumin and just a pinch of the cayenne pepper. Be careful guys, a little bit goes a long way. And now we're gonna get in here and mix up all of our vegetables with those seasonings and make sure that they're all coated with that extra virgin olive oil. And now we're gonna take these 
yummy vegetables and layer them here on our cookie sheet in one single layer. We're going to bake them in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. Don't forget, guys, that extra virgin olive oil has a low smoke point. 375 is the highest you should cook it. We are adding in that can of diced tomatoes that we rinsed earlier. All right, guys, so we have went ahead and pulled out all of those roasted vegetables that we had in the oven. And we are just going to go ahead and transfer those right over into our chili, our pot of chili. Slide them down. Look at all up, up, and there's plenty of veggies on the floor. <laughs> Look at all those good roasted vegetables. Oh, they smell so good. I like to add about a heaping tablespoon here of tomato paste. Get that all stirred up in there. And then I also like to add about a teaspoon or two of sugar just to break any tartness from those tomatoes. Um, or the paste that we just put in there. And last, we're going to add in some corn. And I just use a small bag there, about a um, 12 ounce bag there of uh, frozen corn that I had already defrosted. And this is what we have so far, you guys. Look at all of those colors. Oh my God, look at all those vegetables there in that chili. And we are just gonna continue to stir here and cook here. I still have it. Now at this point, I, I have it a little lower than the medium. And uh, cause I want all of these flavors and all those seasonings to marry. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And then for our last ingredient. And now for the secret ingredient that's going to make your chili pop. It is, you'll never believe, A1 sauce. I use about a tape, no, no. I use about two tablespoons of the A1 in my chili and it makes it taste absolutely amazing now we've added our a1 we have all of our wonderful vegetables in there we added a can of the diced tomatoes and then we added about five cans of the um low sodium black beans and so we're going to go ahead and let that marry and let that sit for about i like to let it sit for about 15 minutes and there we have it guys my spicy vegetarian chili And I just went ahead and put a dollop of sour cream and some green onions on top. All right, guys, and there you have it, my spicy vegetarian chili. Mm. This chili is amazing. I hope you try it. Don't forget. Be healthy, be vegetarian. Bye.